Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a footer and Elementor in 2023. Of course, Elementor is a popular WordPress page builder that allows you to design and customize your WordPress uh, website with ease. And this tutorial will guide you through the steps to create the customized footer for your WordPress or sorry, for your website using Elementor. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's just make sure that you have the Elementor installed and activated on your WordPress website. You can simply go to your WordPress dashboard, as an example, on whatever browser you're using, and go to your plugins and make sure that you have it, the Elementor plugin already there. Of course, if it's not, you can simply go to add a new plugin on the left panel of your WordPress dashboard and go and add a new plugin, search for Elementor, install it and activate it, and then go to pages. You'll find this at the top. Click on add a new page, choose Elementor, and you'll find yourself here. Make sure to even have the Elementor Pro so you will not li lack any features because the normal uh, Elementor will lack a lot of features. So you can simply go and check for the prices of their plans as you can see and compare them and do whatever you want with it. Once you're done everything and you are here, of course, you'll have to go. So go to this list panel as example, go to the settings right here. Click on these three uh, lines at the top right corner and here you'll have to go to, uh, sorry, not this one, this uh i misclicked so to this theme builder and as you can see here you'll be able to edit your footer if you have one and if you don't have it you'll be able even to add it but as you can see i will not be able to edit my footer because i will have to go and upgrade to the elementor pro so as i said before go and get it because you'll like a lot of features if you will not have it and once you have it, you'll be able to go and edit your footer and of course customize it however you want uh, and of course add whatever you want on it and configure the column and widget settings and you can even add like some global widgets and of course once you're done you can simply go here to this preview changes and preview your footer if it's like as you wanted and if it's not you can always go and edit it and then come back and publish everything and then you will be normally good to go so other than that, of course, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff on Elementor, including like here, uh, add in like as an example. If you want to add some inner section, you can simply drag it here into uh, this section as an example. So let's just drag it. And as you can see, you'll be able to edit the layout of it. As you can see, we can edit the content width, the width of the uh, layout, of course, the columns gap, uh, height, vertical lines, overflow, HTML tag, and of course, even the structure of it. If you want to, we'll be able even to edit that so of course other than that we'll be able to edit the style of it as an example so we can change uh, the background of it uh, we can uh, give it a uh, like normal background or hover background uh, there's the even the background overlay option the border the sh the shape divider and of course the typography also so you can go and also to this advanced and here you will be able to uh, edit the margins the paddings depending on whatever you want of course and this z index uh, css id css classes will just simply edit those margins uh, for you and of course here there's this motion effect that you can edit also responsive uh, attributes and custom css and of course as you can see those will require pro also so uh, of course you'll be able even to add some hidden as an example you can simply just drag it down in there get your hidden here as an example i'm just going to type test here you can even go and even paste the link if you want like this uh, hidden to be clickable you can even edit the sides the html tag alignment of it so you can do basically whatever you want with it you can even change the style of it including color typography uh, text stroke uh, text shadow and the blend mode and of course here on the advanced uh, option we will be able to edit the loud of it the motion effect transform background border mask responsive attributes and the custom css also and of course other than that we have this image so we can simply go and add our image by clicking here on image we'll be able to upload some files from our pc as example so let me just go here as an example and upload this file and as you can see you'll be able to upload it and we can even change the scale of this 
uh, file or this image however we want we can even align it to the light rift uh, middle we can even get add some caption a link as an example and we can even go and edit this image of it uh, the image width as an example the max width if you want to the he the height and of course we'll be able even to change the object's fit uh, the it, it would like to be normal or hover css filters will be will be able to apply some and of course on this advanced we'll be able to edit all of those stuff i don't have to go through them again and of course we have here the text editor example we'll be able to go and add some text if you want to and edit the content of it the style of it and even here we have the advanced option so the size is normally going to be the alignment text color typography and text shadow as usual content here we can go and do whatever we want with this as you can see here and that's normally going to be it here of course you'll be able to add some videos as examples so let me just go and drag it here so if you click on this video as you can see you can link a video from youtube if you want to, you can link it from Vimeo or Dailymotion or even self-hosted if you're going to uh, upload it from your PC as an example. So as an example, let's just go here and see we are going to upload something from YouTube. So simply you'll have to go and paste the link right here. Once you do so, the video will appear here and you'll be able to play it whenever you want. Even fix the uh, play speed, the quality of it and of course the volume and or any thing else that you want to edit so of course if you click on it that will open it even on youtube as an example and you'll be able even to watch it on youtube directly so of course you can even use this navigator from here to go back and edit whatever you want if you want to and of course as you can see the video will be able to even edit some options of it if you want it to autoplay if you want it to be mute if you want it to loop if you want uh, to have some player control or if you don't want people to have player control, uh, the mode is branding, privacy mode. And of course, there's even the style. So here it's just going to be uh, the size of the video, as you can see. So if you put it like this, depending just on the size of the video, how it's going to be. So you'll have to go and put it the size that you want. You can even go and add some CSS filters. And of course, on this advanced uh, button or option, you'll find the same advanced uh, options. As you can see here, you'll be able to edit the margins, the padding, width, position, and a lot of other stuff here other than that of course you'll be able to add some buttons so buttons will work as an example so as an example you'll be able to edit text so i'm just going to type here test again and of course you can paste here the link and if someone click on this test right here they will be taken to the link that you put here and of course you can even choose the alignment of it the type of it as an example and size the icon you can go and upload like some icon from yourself the icon spacing and of course you'll be able to edit the style and a lot of other stuff and then we have the divider spacer and those like kind of the same thing so you can go and try them out and of course we have even this google maps option this option will let you as an example let me just go and add it here you'll be able to add like the location that you want in google maps you can simply go and add the location here and that's gonna be it and of course the icon simply you can go and add whatever icon you want edit the style of it and edit any advanced option that you want also and you will normally be good to go so if you like it, if you reach this point of this video, of course, congratulations, you've successfully created this example or a customized footer and elementor in 23 or even edit it if you already have one. So you can of course enhance the design and user experience of your website by just doing, adding or editing like your footer and making it attractive. So remember to consider like the overall design layout of your website when designing the footer. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.